Bonjour, Enchanté Paris. I'm very thrilled to be here in Paris because this is the first time x -Pen is attending the Paris Motor Show. So allow me to take this opportunity to share with you our story. x -Pen is a young company. In fact, we just celebrate our 10th anniversary this August. We're also a company with a very unique DNA by automotive standards. Our founders came from internet, software, AI, as well as automotive backgrounds. Almost 40% of our total employees are in the area of R&D, and with the majority of them in the fields of software and AI. From day one, Expense Vision has always wanted to be the explorer of future mobility. Our belief is clear and simple. Technology and intelligence will be the ultimate driving force transforming mobility. And that is why x -Pen has been building a deep technology stack to develop mobility solutions, from smart EV today, to flying cars, to even humanoid robots. We come from the world's largest and most competitive EV market, China. In just 10 years, the Chinese new energy vehicle penetration as new car sales has grown from less than 1.1% to now over 50%. And also during that period, we saw the number of new energy vehicle competitors in China has gone from hundreds to less than 10% of our number today. So in this fiercely competitive market, x -Pen has emerged to be the front runner. The numbers speak for themselves. Our cumulative delivery has exceeded 500,000. In the first nine months of this year, we've delivered close to 100,000 vehicles, and in just past months alone, we delivered over 21,000. But to be a front runner, you also need to set, lead the major innovations and set new trends in the global EV transition, which we have done. Just to name a few, we were the first company to launch an advanced ADAS for both highway and cities. It's a feature now becoming increasingly important for premium EVs in China. We also introduced China's first high-voltage silicon carbide platform in a mass-produced vehicle, which significantly improved charging speed. In fact, every x model at its launch, from the sporty P7 and the flagship G9 SUV to the most recent successful launch of X9 and the Mona 03, has always incorporated the best-in-class smart technology that set us apart and sets a trend for the whole industry to follow. So thanks to our relentless focus on innovation, x smartification features are at least one generation ahead of most EVs in the market. For example, the x Net Navigation Guided Pilot, which we call NGP, provides nationwide autonomous driving coverage regardless of cities, routes, and road conditions. And by the end of this year, we can expect door-to-door -door NGP experience to be accomplished. Our TNG OS is the proprietary operating system. It's voice assistant powered by our self-developed XGPT large AI model can reason and anticipate your requests through natural conversations. And for a safer driving experience, TNG also has the best in class surrounding reality navigation. And finally, our hassle-free monthly OTA updates is among the most frequent and the most powerful in the industry. We're the only Chinese company that can push beta tests to global users to collect their feedback. And in fact, our many innovations also has led to the strategic collaboration with Volkswagen Group. Our collaboration began with the joint development of two electric SUV models for the Volkswagen brand in China based on our G9 platform. This partnership has since expanded to include collaboration on electric and electronic architecture for Volkswagen's China EV platforms. So this partnership also set the trend for technical partnerships between a Chinese EV brand and global automotive manufacturer to share technologies and co-develop models. Now let's switch to our global expansion. We have always aspired to be a global company as early as 2017, when we were just a small startup in China, 
we have established our first R&D center in Silicon Valley. In 2020, we landed in Norway and embarked on a global expansion. And today, we are already selling our products in over 30 countries and regions. Our goal is to, by the end of 2025, to reach over 60 markets and become the number one Chinese premium EV brand in overseas markets. And in the long run, we expect half of our sales globally to come from outside of China. So to achieve this goal, Europe is definitely our core focus. We have a long-term commitment here, and we have more dedicated resources in Europe than any other region. This includes our established offices in Europe, our hundreds of, hundreds of sales locations, and we have an exciting European pipeline of products of new models and facelifts to be launched in this market. We're also testing advanced ADAS function across Europe and trying to bring the best mobility technology here. And also we're investing to brand building, after sales services, training, as well as developing local infrastructure. So that is our story and journey so far. But let's talk about what's next. And with our tech DNA, Xpand is ready again to set the next mega trend in mobility. So coming to share his vision and roadmap is someone very special and very integral to Xpand's success. So please welcome onto stage our Chairman and CEO, Mr. He Xiaopeng. Thanks, Brian. I, I, I'm just a little, little happy, yeah. And welcome everyone to our lunch. For this session, I will deliver my presentation in Chinese. So, Hi, everyone. My name is He Xiaopeng. Xiaopeng Xiche, or Xpeng Motors, is named after me. There are very few companies named after their founders in China, but there are many in Europe. I believe that naming my company after myself is both a responsibility and a mission. Brian just presented some of the key milestones for Xpeng Motors over the past decade. Today, I'll share some of our vision for the next decade. Over the last 10 to 20 years, we have witnessed the transition from feature phones to smartphones around the world, as well as the uh, shift from traditional gasoline-powered vehicles to new energy vehicles. Additionally, we've observed the emergence of AI technology. So we aim to develop AI-powered vehicles for the global market in the coming decade, which is our goal for the next 10 years. As illustrated in our presentation here, you can see that we've developed our own Turing chip and AI model, which we believe are essential building blocks for all AI companies in the future. And building on this infrastructure, we will initially focus on developing AI cars and eventually move towards creating driverless autonomous vehicles that can safely and autonomously navigate city streets. Additionally, we anticipate a gradual increase in the presence of vertical takeoff and landing or VTOL vehicles around the world over the next decade. We've dedicated the past decade to R&D. We plan to start pre-sales in December of this year and deliver the first VTOL products and robots to China and the world in 2026. This is the beginning of our next 10-year goal and we hope to explore future mobility and AI with all of you. Today, I would like to unveil Xpeng Motors' first AI car to the world, which is our P7 Plus. It will be fully equipped with the most advanced intelligent technology. I invite all of you to watch a video first.
I believe this sports sedan, the P7 Plus, is truly beautiful. And we're really proud to debut P7 Plus today. Many of you have asked why we call it the world's first AI car made by Xpeng Motors. Allow me to explain. 20 or 30 years ago, we thought that computers and the internet were only optional in life, only subjects that specialists choose to study. But today, we can see that the computer and the internet are standard capabilities in many fields. And we believe that in the next 10 years, AI will become a standard feature or capability in the automotive industry. AI will power advanced intelligent driving capabilities, allowing cars to be driven freely in cities in China, Europe, and worldwide. In addition to hardware, software should also be standard and not require subscriptions or fees too. This means that cars in the future can continue to receive over-the-air updates in the future. With its high-level autonomous driving capability, cars can quickly receive OTA updates to enhance its AI capabilities, allowing more people to experience advanced intelligent driving and higher-level AI capabilities. Therefore, starting from our P7+, Plus, we will ensure that AI becomes standard in all of our future car products. Now, how do we manage to achieve this? Many advanced autonomous driving cars feature LiDARs, but our P7+, Plus is the second in the world and also the first in China to achieve advanced ADAS capability without using LiDARs. Why can we do this? It's because with our P7 Plus, we upgraded to Xpeng's end-to-end -end AI model and can now use Hawkeye visual solution. Many of you might ask, why did we need LIDARs in the past? Well, because computing power and AI models were not as capable in the past, and we would think of a car that could only see far away with about 30 images in perception. However, the new end-to-end -end model has this all-in and all-output capability, which can allow us to see a big change that allow end-to-end -end perception capability to be more suitable for autonomous driving in the future. So not only in China, and I expect that from next year or the year after, in areas where laws and regulations allow, we hope to achieve autonomous driving in unlimited cities, roads, and road conditions, and gradually upgrade to better autonomous driving systems that are accessible and powerful. Now, P7 Plus also made significant technological advancements in energy consumption, not just in autonomous driving technology. Now, despite being a 5-meter long car with a 3-meter wheelbase, it has achieved an energy consumption rate of 14.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. This energy consumption rate surpasses the standards of many high-end EVs in industry. It means that with fewer batteries um, and less energy consumption and better technology, the car can achieve a longer driving range. This represents a technological leap forward and a new generation of progress. In addition to advancing in technology, we also made interesting exploration and innovation in this car. Now, the market share of sedan in Europe is not high, but is very, very high in China. Why do we see fewer sedans in Europe and more wagons and SUVs? Because everyone wants their car to have more space. Traditionally, the space of a sedan and its trunk is not large, but, but the trunk space of P7 Plus has reached 725 liters. This is not only larger than regular sedans and wagons, but even larger than SUVs of the same grade. During our debut in Shenzhen, China, three days ago, we demonstrated that the P7 Plus sedan can accommodate 33 20-inch suitcases in the trunk when the rear seats are folded down. This showcases a significant technological advancement. The P7 Plus includes numerous comfort features too, very similar to those found in top-of-the-line executive luxury sedans. The car is exceptionally quiet, 
and the chassis is designed to provide stability, solidity, and comfort. Each of the four seats in the car comes with standard ventilation, heating, and even massage capabilities as well. Rather than being optional add-ons, these features all come as standard. Our goal is to make all of these capabilities of luxury cars standard in the P7 Plus. Many wondered how we created such a spacious interior in a sedan. I would like to share a key point with you. We utilize a robust front and rear integrated aluminum cast body from the world's largest 16,000 die casting machine. This allows us to compress hundreds of parts into just two, resulting in a larger interior space, a lighter vehicle, lower energy consumption, improved rigidity and safety, and greatly reduce abnormal noise as well. There are many similar technological innovations in the interior of P7 Plus, but another interesting topic that I would like to highlight today is the pre-order pricing of this car. We launched our Chinese debut in Shenzhen, China three days ago, and now we have officially introduced this car in Paris. Our goal is to start introducing it in all markets outside of China. After the initial delivery in China, we'll also work hard to begin listing and delivering in Europe and other countries next year. All of the configurations of P7 Plus have been fully benchmarked against the luxury sedans in China at the 300,000 RMB level. This is very crucial because, as you can see, its pre-order price starts from 209,800 RMB. I think it deserves a round of applause. Whether in China, Europe or globally, I believe that x products including P7 Plus, G6, G9 and other cars as well as our flying cars and humanoid robots in the future can bring you innovation, technologies and conveniences in the mid to high-end segment. I look forward to x as a company in China that prioritizes technological innovation, creating a unique travel experience for everyone in the future. Thank you once again to all of our friends for attending our debut at the Paris Auto Show today. We're excited about participating in more auto shows in Europe in the future and seizing more opportunities for development, sales and innovation here. We're dedicated to creating a better future for mobility with everyone. Thank you.